Justin here. Do a ride review here on the uh, XT 250. Uh, mine's a 2008. I'll do a little street review. I guess I'll start off by saying one of the reasons why I'll start off by the reasons why I bought this particular bike. Um, I wanted the dual sport motorcycle. And that's what I knew I wanted. I wanted something to ride on-road and I wanted something to ride off-road I wasn't looking for like a highway interstate kind of bike so I was kind of looking for a smaller off-road bike that I could also ride on the street so that's kind of the what I was looking for when I was getting this bike I've had this bike about I think it's going about five years now so I've had a good amount of time to kind of learn what I like about it what I don't like about it um, but even after this having it five years I still have a blast on it every time I get on it and that's the main thing when you're on two wheels getting a motorcycle just having something have some fun ride around so let's talk about some of the pros of the xt250 so really one of the the pros of this bike is that it's it's definitely more of a uh, off-road bike it's got the nice there's like 10 inches of travel on the front fork so it really eats up a lot of the bumps especially when you're on the road you hardly notice any bumps like speed bumps are fun potholes you just eat them all up on the street the bumpier the rougher the road the, the better this bike is uh, the first time I took it on a gravel road I just knew like oh yeah this is where this bike was meant to live it just feels really comfortable in uh, gravel roads and dirt roads fire roads I've taken this thing on, you know, those kind of trails. Um, before having this bike, my off-road experience was zero. So one of the reasons why I bought this bike because it was it was on the smaller side, it was lightweight, it had a low seat height, so it was something I was going to feel comfortable with on the on the dirt because I didn't want something really big and and bulky when I'm when I was learning how to ride off-road you now if you have off-road experience and you've ridden dirt bikes and you've done the single trail and I say this bike you could probably do the single trail stuff on this bike for me it's just a little out of my uh, out of my range of what I want to do with it I don't want to get too crazy going you know advanced single trail steep rock gardens that kind of stuff so the kind of stuff I like is just the uh, off the beaten path stuff your Honda Civic won't go down you know nice rutted out old country dirt roads some creek crossings I have taken this thing on creek crossings it goes through water really good and I've done some dirt hill climb stuff and it tracks right up it as long as you got the right tire on it I got a, a Kenda 270 which has a, a pretty good aggressive back tire on it and that does really good on the on the dirt traction before the the tires that were on it were more of an 80 percent street 20 percent off-road and the rear end slipped around a lot on the dirt so that's what I really love about this bike is off-road those trails on off-road is really where this thing is alive so 
I really like it on off-road trails. It soaks up a lot of rocks, a lot of, it'll go over a whole lot more than what I ever thought this bike could. And if you are an experienced rider, you, I mean, you could probably take this bike wherever you wanted to. I think a lot of what I'm finding out, it's really about the rider and how much experience a rider has. And I mean, yes, of course, the bike to a certain extent. But if you're looking to do motocross and jumps, no, this is not the bike that's going to do it. But if you're looking for that country road, that gravel road, fire roads, off the beaten path, farm roads, you know, you just want something to ride around your acreage of land or wherever and be able to do roads like this, then yeah, this is the bike for you. Let's talk about some of the cons of this bike. Let's say the biggest con is uh, it's underpowered for street riding. So I like a bike when I'm riding on the street. I like it to have power to power away from traffic, to be able to power away from certain situations, to be able to accelerate away. Um, but on the street, this bike is really underpowered. I mean, you can hammer through the gears and you'll find a stoplight. You'll get away from the pack, from the cars, but top speed on this thing is 70 miles an hour you might get 72 but that's winding it out maxing it out downhill wind to your back as fast as you can go so like cruising speed on this thing i would say is about 60 miles an hour it's like it's sweet spot where you can cruise 55 60 all day long on this thing so if you're looking for interstate riding like that kind of adventure bike do not get this bike um, this is the more i found out this bike is really meant as a trail bike but they make it uh street legal in case there's those times where you need a uh, a street legal bike to connect the different trails it because it is street legal so I can drive it to work ride it around do stuff like this ride it around on a random Wednesday so that's one really good thing I like about this bike and that's one reason I bought it that way you know when I'm not hitting the trails then I can ride it to work I can do roads like this I can get on it any day of the week so you know it's a great bike if you're thinking about getting one if you're looking into like a beginner's bike this would also be a great bike to learn how to ride street you can take it off road it'll be a lot of fun so yeah if you're thinking about the xt250 go ahead give it a try you can pick them up pretty cheap on the used market so uh yeah hope you enjoyed it go get yourself a bike and uh ride what you got